Ciao a tutti e benvenuti in casa mia. I'm Peter DeRay. Nice to meet you. And first of all, thanks to everyone who subscribed and shared my video. We're doing great. Today, my homemade Italian calamari. And I'm going to show you a recipe on how we can do it two ways. One is for the oven, il forno. The other way is a way that we can use pre-cooked fish and make a wonderful grilled calamari for the barbecue. Fantastic concept for summer entertaining. So, it doesn't really matter what you put in it. You're free to use whatever you want. What I'm showing you are guidelines and you can be as creative as you wish. The base always kind of stays the same. So we're gonna start with parsley and we're gonna start with onions. We use some lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, peperoncino, garlic, and breadcrumbs. Those are the base to our stuffing. Then what we add to it is entirely up to you. So I'm gonna start with getting some fresh parsley. And I like to bunch up my parsley and chop it. So there's my parsley. And everyone loves calamari. They're simple to grill. They're great in the oven. And it's a super fun way of, of doing things. So there, there's my parsley. Now, onion. I've already peeled the onion because you don't need me to show you how to peel an onion. I'm just gonna chop this up into smaller, smaller pieces because it is a stuffing. So you don't want too much texture. A little bit of texture is nice, but if it's, if it's not ground small enough, then what's gonna happen is it'll all fall apart and won't bind together. So now we have parsley and onion. So that's forming the base of our stuffed calamari. Doesn't matter if they're grilled or baked in the oven. The reason why there'll be a difference is because if you're gonna grill them, you're just gonna cook them till the outside is cooked. So on the inside, you don't have to worry about putting too much heat and overcooking your calamari by using ingredients that are, um, how do I say, uh, uncooked. So by using cooked ingredients, you don't have that problem. The other thing that I think you have to have in stuffed calamari is anchovies. That gives the wonderful saltiness and the flavor of the ocean, of the sea. So I'm gonna get two bowls, I'm gonna do two recipes. There you go. And I'm gonna take my parsley and onion, and I'm gonna put some in one and some in the other. There you go. I don't wanna see that. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna move it over. Now, in the one with fish, my ingredients are gonna be as follows. I'm gonna take some calamari, and normally you'd use also the tentacles, which I couldn't buy for my fishmonger, because the only fresh calamari they had were tubes, and the tentacles were sold out. So I'll take my calamari, and I'm just gonna chop them into very, very small pieces, kind of like rings, that will then cut again. Now, to this, so this is an uncooked fish. So today, I am gonna use, I found some great BC wild caught snapper. So I'll take my snapper, small piece of snapper is all you need, and I'm gonna take my snapper, and I'm gonna cut it into small pieces, because it is going into a stuffing. And we're gonna cube this up into small pieces, right along with our calamari. So this way we have snapper stuffed baked calamari. Because this snapper and these calamari will have to cook in an oven, 350 degrees, for about 35 to 40 minutes. Now, you have the option of making this either in white in the oven, which means you'd use butter, olive oil, and white wine on your calamari, or you can put them with a very, very simple tomato sauce and make the calamari baked in the oven in grosso. That's up to you. So I'm just gonna finish cutting up my fish so that the pieces are nice, they're all uniform. I'm gonna take that now, I'm gonna add it back to my parsley and onions, very simply. There you go, now the seasoning. There you go, I'm sorry, I had to get something to wipe my hands for my hands are nice and clean. So with this now, we're gonna add, my favorite is either use olives, which I'm not using, I am using capers. 
So I'm adding beautiful capers. I'm adding breadcrumbs. Just enough. You don't need too much because it's all about the, the stuffing, which is great. Pepper. Salt. It's a taste, but you need salt. It is a seafood. Now, my garlic. I'm going to add garlic, which you can either chop if you want it coarse, or you can put it through a simple garlic press. And I'll just use my garlic press because I don't like big chunks of garlic. Uh, it's just my personal preference. So here I've got one large clove of garlic. Maybe I'll put a little more. Clove and a half of garlic. Okay, now as I said, my anchovies. So the most important part of this anchovy is the wonderful anchovy oil. So I'll put my anchovy oil, saving some for the other recipe. I'll take my filet of anchovies. So you take your, your filet of anchovies and you just chop them very, very, very small. So about a half a tin goes into here, it's my stuffing. And I'm just gonna wipe my hands. And then I use lemon juice. So I'll take my lemon. I'm just going to put my hand here to catch the seeds. Add my lemon juice. Beautiful. And a little extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. There's your stuffing. Which is great. I'm just going to toss it by hand. And you can see how this is not overwhelmed with breadcrumbs, not overwhelmed with, with onion or anything else. It's, it's just really nice, simple. And what we'll do in a second is we're going to start to fill the calamari. But first of all, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to wipe my counter because now I'm going to be working with cooked fish. Be back in a minute. Okay, and we're back. So we're starting with our parsley and our onion. And because it's for a summer grill or a summer barbecue, I'm going to add some pepper. Now you can use green pepper, bell pepper, you can use red pepper, you can use whatever kind of pepper you want. I got yellow and orange, which are pretty summer colors. Actually, really nice colors for Easter. So, and I'm making this for Easter. And these will be served as an appetizer on the barbecue. So there are my peppers. I'm just gonna add that in. Now, again, I'm gonna add a little bit of anchovy oil and the anchovies themselves. Again, small pieces. And you don't have to make a lot of stuffing. Depends on how many tubes or calamari bodies or tubes you're filling. So there you go, there's your anchovy. I kept it light. Breadcrumbs. Beautiful. My lemon juice. Oh, there's a seed. Get that little guy out of there. Perfect. And this one, I'm going to add pepperoncino. I'm going to try to add a little bit of heat. Not too much, so I'm just going to use a small pepperoncino. I'm going to cut it in very, very small pieces. And it's barbecue. People may be having, you know, chilled wine, a sangria, a margarita, or a nice cold beer. So a little bit of heat people enjoy. Just make sure it's in small, small pieces. Let no one gets too much. And I'm just gonna add that in, like that. Now, you can add calamari, but they're raw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add pre-cooked shrimp. So by using pre-cooked shrimp, I don't have to worry about the internal temperature of the stuffing, because I just have to make sure I cook the outside of my calamari first. And the inside, I'm not worried about overcooking it or having to cook raw fish on the inside. So these will cook in about seven minutes on the barbecue. So there's my, my shrimp, a little more hot pepper there. And the other thing I'm gonna to add to make this fun is pre-cooked lobster. So I've got this beautiful cooked lobster and what I'll do is I'll open this package up and I'll take out my lobster. There you go. Look at these beautiful, nice pre-cooked lobster cloths. Look at that, there's lots. There's actually more than I need. So I'll just put that over there. So, when your guests come over and you serve your appetizer, your appetizer is 
grilled calamari with shrimp and lobster. Doesn't that sound fabulous? It does. Sounds kind of like, you know, really trendy, really good. Wait, when this video goes out, then every restaurant will be making this and selling it as an appetizer. So, this is cooked, this is cooked, everything is cooked, so we're not worried about the temperature. I'm going to add it in. I don't need it anymore. So these will save for another purpose. They go there. The other thing is, I'll take a cherry tomato. Nice little cherry tomatoes. And these I'll cut by hand. And I'm just going to add in a little bit of cherry tomato. And that'll give off a nice redness to the stuffing. And it'll keep the stuffing moist. And it's kind of summery. So let's just put a couple in. You don't need many. There you go. So again, seasoning. A little drizzle of olive oil. Fresh ground black pepper. Nice sea salt. And my garlic. And again, I'll use the garlic press. So I'll just take my garlic press now. Crush my garlic. And in one minute, I'm going to clean my cutting board. We'll be back. And what we're going to do is I'll show you how to stuff the tubes and get them ready. One minute to clean up. And we're okay, welcome back. So I've washed my hands. I've washed my cutting surface really, really well. And the first thing we'll do is we'll work with the, with the fish that's cooked. And then this way we don't contaminate our surfaces or our bowls or our hands with the pre-cooked fish. So this is the stuffing we made with the lobster and the pre-cooked shrimp. Some peppers and breadcrumbs, capers, you can put in clamata olives, which would be great. So these are ready to get stuffed in our tubes. So these are our calamari tubes. So one thing to keep in mind is if you overstuff the tube, when it cooks, the stuffing will expand and they'll pop open and break. Now, some will always break. That's just something you gotta get used to. So, don't overfill them. It's, you have the temptation to really want to fill them, but the stuffing will expand as the fish cooks. So basically, this, all you have to do is use your hand and put your stuffing in there with your finger. You can use a small spoon. I brought a small spoon just for this occasion. And I'm not even going to use it because this tube is nice and sized. So if you take a look at it, you work the stuffing down to the tail. You get a decent amount of stuffing in there. And then, to close it, you simply take a good quality toothpick, one that won't break or bend. So I used the round pointed toothpicks. And you're going to use that toothpick to stitch the opening closed. There's your calamari. Stuff ready for the grill. I'm going to put it there, and I'll just show you one more. So we'll take one more calamari. Now this one has a small tear in it, so still use it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just don't overstuff it. I love cooking. And all of you that subscribe to my channel, if there's anything you want to you want to see me make or cook for you or something that we can learn on how to cook together. Say there's something you like making you don't know how and maybe I don't know how, but uh, together I'm sure we can figure it out. So I'll take another one and I will simply put my toothpick through and that'll pinch it shut. So you can already see how these small tube calamari make an absolutely fantastic little bite-sized appetizer on the summer grill. So it's great for entertaining as a kickoff. It introduces seafood with lobster and shrimp, so it's very, very rich. Not expensive at all. Calamari are actually one of the least expensive fish out there. So I'll take a break and I'm going to stuff all of these and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the other batch. We're back live. So these are the calamari that are going to go on our grill for our appetizers. Take a look. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I made a dozen of them with two shrimp and one package of lobster. So very, very, very inexpensive, great backyard grill. Now you can make this ahead of time because all of the fish is pre-cooked except for the calamari. The other thing you can do is if you want, you can make a little slit in them if you think they're too tight. That'll let some of the pressure off. Normally you don't have to. The only way to finish this now is a drizzle of olive oil. Get my olive oil and my salt and pepper. So I'm gonna give them a little 
sprinkling of sea salt, a little bit, black pepper, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, which will help them when they're on the grill. You can cover these with saran wrap, plastic, keep them in the refrigerator. And then when you're ready, when your grill's nice and hot, you can put them on the grill. And I'll show you how to do that later. So now, this is ready. I'm gonna put it here. So we'll take our other stuffing for the calamari that go in the forno. So I'm gonna stuff these calamari, then I'll show you how to finish the sauce and get them ready for the oven. Be right back. One. Okay, we're back. So I've stuffed my calamari, the ones that are going in the oven, and I'm gonna put them in an oven-proof casserole bowl, just like that. So I'm gonna put one, two, and there's a little trick here. Three, four, five, six. I'm not putting down any olive oil because I'm gonna to put tomato sauce. So a little bit of pepper again, make sure they're well seasoned. If you want, you can put a little more pepperoncino. The trick now though is we're gonna add tomatoes. Simple tomato sauce, plain tomato sauce. We're just gonna pour it over the calamari, okay, about a half a can. Squeeze the big pieces. And I'm just gonna, I'll give you a nice angle view. Squeeze the big pieces. You can add a little bit of white wine if you want. Because what we want these to do is to cook, but we really don't want them to, uh, to poach or steam in too much liquid. We're not making a soup, we're making calamari in forno. Now, tidy up. Oh, I love making a mess when I cook. I'm good at that. So, here's our calamari. They're ready to go. I can put a little bit of parsley on top, so if I can get a knife, Marianne, can I get a knife by any chance? Give me a second, I'll grab a knife. Hi, okay, so we're back. I've got guests over tonight, it's Good Friday, and I'm making the grilled calamari as an appetizer. So I'm out here with my Weber barbecue on my deck, and they're just about ready. Come on, have a look. Here you go. So they've been on for about seven minutes, and they're just perfect. Again, you just give them a nut color, but they're nice and attractive and they're cooked on the outside. But again, we don't have to worry too much about the inside filling. So aren't those just adorable? I'm just gonna give them one second here on the heat. And then to serve them, they already have a toothpick. So you just put them on a nice plate. Two. Whoop. Three. Four. five and six and to serve them I'm gonna give them a little tiny a little tiny squeeze of lemon beautiful and another just a light little drip of olive oil now don't serve them too hot for your guests but beautiful grilled calamari stuffed without using fresh fish with using frozen or cooked fish. Next will be the oven baked calamari. See you in a minute. So here we go. These are our wonderful baked stuffed calamari that we put in the oven with the really nice British Columbia snapper. Then I normally serve it with rice and I'll just take one gently and put it here and I'll take one more. You can see they shrink a little bit, but see the importance of making that ragu or that sauce with the stuffing a little thicker so then you have these kind of pieces of texture here you go here you go peter dare welcome to Casamia. these are my stuffed squid these are my stuffed squid done on the grill done in the oven it was a pleasure to have you in my home happy easter please subscribe and share i'll see you again in Casamia. goodbye